Forget Swan. Another comet is brightening faster than anyone expected, and it could soon be visible to you. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Just when we thought Comet C slash 2025 R2 Swan was the big cosmic event of the year, the universe surprises us again. Only two weeks after Swan made headlines, another comet is stealing the show. Meet Comet C slash 2025 A6, Lemon. A comet that astronomers first thought would be faint and unremarkable. But guess what? It's brightening faster than expected, and could turn into a real spectacle. If the trend continues, this October and November we might be able to see it with binoculars, and maybe even with the naked eye under dark skies. In today's video, <clears throat> I'll guide you through what to expect, when to look, and how to plan your own observations so you don't miss the next bright comet of 2025. Let's talk about one of the biggest surprises of 2025, Comet C-2025A6, better known as Comet Lemon. This comet was first discovered on January 3rd, 2025 by astronomer David C. Foles as part of the Mount Lemmon survey. And honestly, it didn't look like much at first. It appeared at a faint magnitude 21, so dim it resembled an asteroid more than a comet. Early forecasts predicted it would remain a telescopic target only, so invisible to casual observers. But the story quickly changed. After slipping behind the sun in early July, the comet re-emerged in August with an unexpected burst of activity. In just weeks, it brightened dramatically, transforming from a faint rock into one of the most promising comets of the year. Why does this matter? If the current trend continues, late October and November 2025 could bring us a comet visible in binoculars and possibly to the naked eye under dark skies. With no other bright comets expected at that time, Lemon may become the highlight of the autumn sky. There's more. Comet Lemon's orbit is unusually tilted, about 144 degrees, sending it on a retrograde path opposite the planets. That geometry actually favors northern hemisphere observers. By October 10th, it becomes circumpolar for latitudes above 48 degrees north, meaning it never sets. Observers there will have long, repeated chances to track its progress throughout crisp autumn nights. And Lemon isn't new to the solar system. It last visited the inner regions more than a thousand years ago, on a 1,350-year orbit. But in April 2025, it passed close enough to Jupiter that the giant planet's gravity altered its path, shortening its orbital period to about 1,154 years. So the comet we're watching now is both ancient and rare, a traveler reshaped by the largest planet in our system. Brightness is the million-dollar question. Astronomers measure brightness in magnitudes. The lower the number, the brighter the object. For context, stars in the Big Dipper shine around magnitude 2. The faintest stars visible to the naked eye under dark skies are around magnitude 6. Originally, Lemon was expected to peak at around magnitude 9, far too faint for casual skywatchers. But by August 2025, after solar conjunction, it had already surged past predictions. In just a month, it brightened from magnitude 16.5 to magnitude 9, months ahead of schedule. Now, 
Forecasts are much more exciting. Optimistic predictions put Lemon near magnitude 4 by late October, within reach of the naked eye under dark skies and easily seen with binoculars. Some bold estimates even suggest magnitude 2, which would make it a genuine sky spectacle. Though, that's less likely. <sighs> More conservative models suggest a peak closer to magnitude 7 to 7.5. Still a good binocular target, but not naked eye visible. Japanese comet expert Seiichi Yoshida and Dutch comet specialist Gideon van Butenen are among the most optimistic, projecting a peak between plus 4 and plus 5. <sighs> Meanwhile, Daniel Green of the Central Bureau for Astronomical Telegrams has issued a cautious estimate of plus 7.3 for October 27th. The range is wide, but Lemon is outperforming expectations and could give us the best comet of 2025. So, how do you catch it? Right now, C-2025 A6 is a morning comet for Northern Hemisphere observers. By mid-October, it shifts into the evening sky, making it easier to spot after sunset. Above latitude 48 degrees north, it's circumpolar, visible all night long. If the forecasts hold, Lemon should reach its peak brightness in late October and early November, then fade as it heads into evening twilight by late November. For Southern Hemisphere observers, patience is key. The comet becomes more accessible by mid-November, giving skywatchers there their own window of opportunity. Skypath Highlights September 2025, in the constellation Lynx visible before dawn. October, sweeps through Leo Minor, Ursa Major, and Canes Venetici. November, moves across Buotes, Serpens, Hercules, and Ophiuchus. Around November 20, slips into twilight and becomes unobservable. As exciting as this sounds, comets are notoriously unpredictable. Some fizzle, some explode into brilliance. Lemon could go either way. Light pollution will also make a big difference. In dark skies, you may glimpse it with the naked eye. In urban settings, binoculars or a small telescope will be essential. Remember, comets don't look like sharp points of light. They're diffuse clouds spreading their glow over a larger area. Photographs show lemon with a faint greenish tint caused by dicarbon molecules fluorescing near the nucleus. It also sports a gas-dominated tail, which tends to look fainter and bluish compared to dust-rich tails that shine more brightly. Most observers will likely describe it as a small, condensed, fuzzy patch, with perhaps a faint tail extension. One last thing. Don't forget the moon. Moonlight can easily wash out a faint comet. Plan around these dates. Best. October 21st. New moon. Moderate interference. October 29th. First quarter. Some interference, but manageable. November 5th. Full moon. Final chance, November 14th, last quarter. If conditions line up, October and November 2025 could give us a comet worth remembering. Comet C-2025 A6, Lemon, began as an overlooked speck, but is now shaping up as the season's potential star. Rare, ancient, and unexpectedly bright, it may soon become the comet of autumn 2025. Staring at the stars last night Your face lit up by distant suns You asked me why we're here alone Floating on the spinning